Hello there, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube. It's Jake here on the light. Uh, welcome back to my channel here. Um, thanks for tuning in. Definitely go watch my last video, by the way. Didn't even get more than 24 views at this point. Um, I was talking about some real stuff. It's kind of a heart-to-heart, -heart, real talk, talking more about the news and why I'm posting things like Alex Jones and Infowars on my channel because some people are probably thinking, why don't you just stick to stocks? crypto and the fun stuff, but uh, you can go find out what I'm talking about in that video if you're interested. And today, we're going to talk about the market, especially cryptocurrency, but I want to show you what's going on as there's been a gnarly dip, especially in the S&P 500. We see the VIX up through the roof, highest level on the VIX for about 10 months here as the market is just freaking out and digesting fears about COVID, Omicron, um, which seems to be a mild COVID variant, but has supposedly very high transmissibility. They found it in South Africa and they're spreading all the FUD they can, freaking everybody out, um, closing travel, just all, all of the good stuff there from the Omicron variant, um, very bad. And so it's even taken a good chunk out of the Bitcoin price. I mean, you can Take a little look here. Actually, it's it's starting to get back on up. But uh, yeah, nice dip there for the BTC. Um, but despite that, we're seeing quite a nice day here from Frog Money, Froge Coin, Froge Finance, which I've been saying is like my favorite cryptocurrency out there. It is so cool. Such an awesome community project great community. Please go join the Telegram where they're actually posting announcements and things because the current website's outdated. Follow the Froge Finance Community Twitter as well where you can find news. And uh, what's going on right now? Well, they've delayed the FrogeX contract due to testing and auditing because they want to test it, you know, test gas fees, smart contract, things like that, and get it audited, which is awesome. And that actually is going to allow for them to release it with auditing and with like really refined code. Although the, the developers say the code's great, they want to test it out, which is key because um, this thing has real world partnerships, a real world nonprofit foundation, the Froge Finance Foundation, backing it with real world charitable partners. They're going to make 1% daily volume to a donation wallet that then gets delegated to the partners to help fight deforestation and promote biodiversity and donate to causes that otherwise also help mitigate climate change and um, lower carbon emissions. And so it's a really cool project and the community is running it. It's totally community ran. Everyone working on it is a volunteer. I'm stoked about it because it's organic um, and this is the ground floor for it with the new contract not even out yet. That's going to come to all the holders in an airdrop. And you can see though, it's taken a bit of a dip. Um, it was way on up, especially end of October, even early November. It's taken a dip there, especially right here where there's all this FUD about the delay of the contract. But this is a really good thing so they can make sure that it is perfect when they release it. Um, and that dip just got eaten up, absolutely just nommed. Uh, it's up like 40% today, uh, at least 37.36% right now. It's on fire, um, up 52% against ETH, which has been down today like Bitcoin. So Froge is doing great in a blood red market. Uh, you see SHIB not looking so hot today, looking real bad over seven days, looking real bad over the month. And like I've said, I'm kind of uh, just keeping an eye on SHIB, just watching it as an indicator kind of deal. Uh, for the meme coins and everything. Froge is not a meme coin because it's got this real world stuff going on. It's the world's first eco DeFi. Whereas SHIB, I have a lot less confidence in SHIB because SHIB is literally just a hype train. And I know that they actually partnered with Activision and with Newegg now. So they're getting some real world stuff going on, but there's nothing there other than um, this, this hype really. And they're just starting to build out what some use cases could be because it's grown and the community loves it so much. No one's letting go of it. Um, and there's like a million holders. And so, you know, you see the sentiments kind of balanced out a little bit. It's not bullish, not bearish. Um, 
I know there's a lot of sheep whales out there. Uh, it got listed on the South Korean exchange, which is a big deal and could send it mooning again, but also doesn't necessarily mean that that at all. Um, so I'm still excited about it. I hope that it just goes up and up and up forever so that people make money. And I want everyone making all the monies on all their investments. Uh, so good luck to all of you out there. But, um, I think Shiv's pretty dang risky, but it's cool to watch. I'm a little bit more excited, actually, about Jasmine Coin, which is this really cool Internet of Things project that's just down so much from Inception. It's this new project. It's the first Japanese legally backed um, and recognized Japanese blockchain um, project. A cryptocurrency doesn't even really describe this. It's an Internet of Things blockchain project for the democratization of data um, basically it, it's for the new kind of IOT society. There's all this new world order hype surrounding this. Um, and I know they have a partnership right now, even going with Toyota and Mitsubishi, where they're going to be working on basically tracking tourism and transportation in Hokkaido and Japan, things like that going on, um, which is exciting. Um, they say it's data democratization for putting data sovereignty in the hands of consumers, which is cool. And so that's kind of where it comes in handy is that people can utilize this. And, and then it also benefits the corporations who would be able to use this data because they, they can get the data. But it's supposed to democratize the data. Um, it uses IoT with blockchain and then individuals can gather this data. Corporations can also gather this data using it with their technology or their transportation. They talk about this big wave of the fourth industrial revolution that's begun to swallow the world. All goods, people, and services are connected via the internet and continue to expand into and expand into all areas of our lives. From this big wave, new goods and services such as sharing the economy, such as uh, automobile dispatch, automatic driving, robotics industry, will make full use of AI and the unmanned convenience store that realized paymentless paymentlessness are born. Um, yeah, I'm maybe the translation's lost a little bit there. It's on the Japanese to English translation, but um, there's nothing new. I mean, everyone's on the internet. The internet runs everything right now. But the idea is that um, you know to return our personal data to the hands of the individual pretty cool but then also this is going to benefit companies because they're going to have more data by this data democratization people are going to collect more of their personal data and then it's going to be utilized um, especially probably going to be helpful for automated transportation and automated retail and services and things like that maybe even drones and they're using it like to map Hokkaido with this this transportation thing, tracking tourism and things like that. And so that's really cool. It's backed by three former Sony executives, which is crazy. And so this thing, I mean, the who behind it is nuts. I mean, they take it seriously. And there's an actual Jasmine corporation that like owns this. So it's no joke. Um, I'm definitely going to be watching this, but uh, it's just been kind of sideways over the month. Definitely up really, but especially over that seven days actually getting up there, uh, but taking a bit of a dip for Black Friday. I'm sure people are probably buying that dip as they are with many cryptos, but we'll see what happens with this in the overall market. It's just such a cool project though, something to watch. I also think that you should maybe check out Algorand, which is kind of a one that I've started to watch that's a carbon negative, um, kind of more finance-based blockchain. There's this event this decipher, Algorand decipher, talking about the green blockchain. There's a bunch of people going to Miami to talk about the future that's built on Algorand in this event for builders, businesses, investors, and strategic stakeholders. You've got like founders, the CEO, president, the mayor of the city of Miami, they're speaking at the event. So that's probably going to be a big deal if they um, put it up and stream it i'll definitely have to give it a watch because i'm gonna start a little position of algo here um it's definitely already taken some kind of a run but i think that it's very exciting and it is also something that's got backing of the government of el salvador that's going to this whole kind of crypto stuff so 
keep on uh, looking out. Stay tuned. Um, you know, I'm going to talk more about all these projects in the future. It's definitely exciting stuff. Um, but uh, we'll see what happens. I know Decipher is coming up right at the end of the month. I think the 29th and 30th of November. So uh, maybe Algo will run. Uh, who knows what's going to happen with this whole COVID Omicron variant. Um, uh, and I don't know if crypto is going to track with the SP500 or not. But there's a lot of exciting things happening in the crypto market as well as really with the economy and the stock market if we set aside the COVID FUD. Um, so stay tuned. I'll keep covering this stuff um, and uh, keep on tuning into the channel here. I really appreciate y'all watching. Uh, please do like, share, subscribe, um, and uh, keep on doing good stuff out there. I'm proud of all of you. I'll see you again in the next video.